I'm Dires. Uh, right now, I am the uh, one of the director for Bluesville, a brand that is uh, a menswear uh, lifestyle brand. which focused on uh, natural dyeing and especially in natural indigo dyeing. So as you can see on the back, as the name suggests, Blue's Fill, we mostly focused on uh, blue kind of stuff, blue fabrics, blue uh, shirts and stuff like that. And most of the time uh, what we do here is actually doing the uh, batik process course and after that we dye the uh, the fabric ourselves as well with indigo and some of it uh, we did with other uh, natural colors like uh, like when we wanted to make gray we use a mangosteen skin and when we wanted to make brown that brown is like the basic color that uh, natural uh, ingredients can make but we used to make brown color with jengkol uh, skin. Wow. It's really like an exotic. When we first started Bluesville, uh, historically, uh, I'm interested in uh, the history of denim uh, mm -hmm. back in the 2009, and the trend was like uh, denim all over the world, and I was like uh, into denim uh, more than ever at the time. From denim, uh, I used to see the value behind the denim and the history, and I found indigo that is really related to denim. And I was like, okay, this topic can actually be like uh, uh, an interesting story and has really interesting value. And I found out that Indigo actually has a really close relations to uh, Indonesia. We started the brand in 2011. Uh, when we started, we started with, uh, uh, I have two other partners, uh, Osi and Dana. And Dana lives, uh, lived, before he got married, he lived uh, in, this house, in this house behind <laughs> behind you. His mother is actually, uh, had done natural dyeing before. Okay. But it's mostly like the uh, old Javanese kind of color, like the brown, the yeah, yeah. soga brown, you know, like the... Uh, Classic. The classic uh, greenish uh, stuff, and all, but she already did uh, some kind of uh, new waves of batik, not just like the old parang batik or uh, taung and stuff. And I think the interest of uh, his mother make my partner Dana actually uh, turns his interest into natural dyeing as well, and he is kind of interested in denim as well. So, uh, you know, natural, natural dyeing and yeah, denim, you know. Yeah, really love for denim. Yeah. yeah it was a natural and then he, he kind of experiments on the formula to get, to get this kind of blue color that we have uh, right now. I think 2011 till 2012, we only did experiments. Of course. So it's like uh, uh, paying stuff for the indigo and uh, getting supplies from different uh, indigo planters and choosing, Test. yeah, choosing which kind of uh, indigo paste is the the most uh, potent. And we, yeah, we did a lot of uh, natural dyeing. Like uh, we did a pink color as well, but we did it with uh, mengkudu plants. But we have to chop off the uh, the root. Yeah, so it doesn't really <laughs> sustain. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> they resulting in a really good pink color.
I think the most interesting thing in the workshop as well is like we kind of operated like a family kind of uh, business. You know, like the, the mother of my partner is actually running this stuff and the house is actually beside the workshop. Right here, yes. And one of our first uh, dyer that we, uh, that we teach to dye is actually uh, ex, well, well she, she still cooks for the household yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so she, but she is interested in those uh, kind of work right. and she did a really, well. really good job on indigo dyeing until today she managed to teach it to her son and her son is the one that is working right now. That son is the yeah. one there. that's uh -huh. crazy. And her, his twin brother is uh, working on the batik for Blue so Twin well. brothers, like, yeah. yeah, they live here yeah. and work on, on the uh -huh. So it's, it's kind of like, well, we can call it like a family uh, basis, family. you know, like yeah, a family, family workshop. Family, yeah. family things uh -huh. like that. So. And that's, that's one of the reasons that we uh, always kind of uh, like treat our uh, workers at the office and in our workshop as family as well. And the ladies over there, what are they doing? They're doing stuff, they're doing intricate batik stuff for Kana. Like I said, Kana is really a purist on this kind of process. Detail going on there. Yeah, it's like probably one, one sheet of fabric there took like two weeks to complete. Wow. So that's a lot of uh, handwork there. We have some uh, experiments on the uh, the fabrics uh, on the back side. We have two kinds of uh, indigo shades there, the lighter and the darker. And on top of that, of course, the batik pattern that we have done uh, before. Nice. And we have t-shirt fabrics as well to make the uh, indigo t-shirts uh, available in the next collection but we started with the fabric first instead of dyeing all the uh, t-shirt right so start uh, with the fabric yeah. so uh -huh. what it looks like how it washes yeah. how it holds up well the, the the main problem with dyeing uh, ready-made t-shirts or ready-made shirt that it will like twist mm. because uh, because of the dyeing process right. obviously you have and to it. yeah and because of the uh, fabric itself when we want to dye uh, something, the fabrics have to be all natural, like all cotton or all linen. Not mixes. Not mixes with polyester and stuff. And the characteristic of those kind of fabrics is they will twist in the dyeing process. Hey, this is Dires, co-founder of Bluesville from Jakarta. This is Globetrotter.